Another very dangerous storm is coming to the United States today, and this is going to bring the threat for another significant severe weather outbreak. This includes the threat for numerous to widespread damaging winds between 60 to 90 miles per hour, large to very large hail up to three to four inches in diameter, and the threat for several tornadoes, where a few strong tornadoes will be a possibility. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down everything that you need to know about this significant storm that's going to be impacting a very large chunk of the United States. So let's hop right into the Storm Prediction Center's outlook for today and give you an idea of where the greatest risk for severe weather will be. We'll begin with the moderate risk, which has been added in the latest outlook to parts of western Kentucky, much, much of northern Tennessee, back into southern Missouri, and even southern Illinois in a small sliver of northeast Arkansas, only includes like one county. Overall, this is where the greatest concern for very large hail and damaging winds will be, and it's almost a certainty that you'll see at least some sort of damaging wind or hail event within a 25 mile radius of your location so you definitely want to make sure if you're in that red shaded area that you have taken all of your severe weather precautions for today even outside of this area we are still watching for significant damaging winds and very large hail anywhere from texas all the way back into tennessee kentucky and southern indiana and southern illinois where there will be the threat for very significant damaging winds large hail and as well as tornadoes now overall the tornado risk across the board is going to be concerning no matter where you are you should be weather aware and prepared for tornadoes no matter where you are if you're in the slight enhanced or moderate risk you need to have your tornado action plan in place and multiple ways to receive alerts don't forget one of the ways to receive alerts is a youtube live stream and we will be live later today so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon down below so you're notified when we do go live the wind risk for today is much more elevated especially anywhere in the red or pink or purple really shaded region that is where we're watching for the most significant damaging wind risk but we could see really high damaging winds upwards of even 80 to 90 miles per hour out of anywhere that's in this hatched area that goes from texas back into southwest in even southeast missouri much of arkansas western tennessee and western kentucky where some scattered to numerous storms will produce damaging winds as high as 80 to 90 miles per hour you might be thinking what is the flying trampoline meter for today well today's risk is at a gone forever stage this is only the sixth time in history over the last year of having this meter we've ever done this where we've issued a gone forever level. That means a flying trampoline outbreak is expected today. So make sure that you hatch down any trampolines. It's not, you know, tossing trampolines on tacos Tuesday, but it is wacky weather Wednesday, and it's probably gonna be pretty wacky today with all the damaging wind potential. But in all seriousness, make sure that you are bringing any loose lawn items inside. Make sure you're protecting plants. In addition to that, make sure that you have multiple ways to receive alerts, have flashlights on hand because there will likely be power outages later today. The hail risk is also pretty much in the same area. We will be watching for some very significant hail we could see some numerous hail storms across parts of southeastern missouri back into northwest tennessee but regardless of where you are in this risk today you need to make sure that you are monitoring the weather very closely and you are protecting your vehicle because any storm today has the potential to produce large hail in this environment now in addition to all of this we have a threat for tornadoes and unfortunately it looks like we could see another tornado outbreak there is a little bit of good news to this is that the overall environment is going to be more linear meaning that we're really watching for more of a damaging wind risk the bad news is is even if we don't get that many tornadoes there will be significant damaging winds across a entire line of storms which is really going to be more numerous to widespread than what a tornado threat would do in today's environment so that's what we're looking at for today but the greatest chance for strong and large tornadoes will be across parts of southern illinois kentucky tennessee and back into missouri outside of this area though you still need to make sure that you have a tornado action plan in place because this entire area has a chance here for a few tornadoes and if anything shows you like yesterday where we had strong and large tornadoes in southern michigan under a five percent tornado risk not even a hatched risk that at least gives you an idea that we could still see that outside of that yellow shaded area which is why i remind you ignore the colors you still need to be weather aware if you're anywhere in a shaded area you need to stay weather aware today also the other area that we're watching is in iowa near that low pressure system it's a low threat but there might be an isolated brief tornado we will be talking about the timing in just a moment but i do want to show you the risk for tossing trampolines on tall trees thursday we do have a large marginal and slight risk that go all the way from the east coast back into the southern plains in addition to this the storm prediction center is upgraded to an enhanced risk across parts of southern north texas back into even parts of central texas now why is that well we're going to be talking about some substantial hail we could see some storms upwards of three to three and a half inches in diameter for hail going into thursday and that will primarily be during the late afternoon into the evening hours so make sure that you're protecting your 
vehicle. A much lower hail risk is expected across the southeast. We're talking more about a line of storms going this direction and then more of just discrete and semi-discrete cells that'll form in Texas. Now, the good news is overall, the wind threat should remain low in Texas. Back over in the southeast, that's really the primary concern as we go into Thursday. But notice this, we actually do have a low tornado risk across parts of North Texas, even a small one in Georgia and North Carolina, which by the way, it's a very low potential and only brief and weak tornadoes are currently in the forecast. And even parts of Delaware, Maryland, and maybe Northeast Virginia could get a brief tornado. But again, it's a very low risk overall. Main reason why the tornado risk is low down in Texas is because it's a very low shear environment. So I'm not expecting really any tornadoes there for Thursday. We'll go into the timing of the severe weather in just a moment, but I do want to talk a bit more about the severe weather setup and go a bit more in detail on why this tornado risk and also why the wind risk is going to be so much more elevated today. One of the biggest reasons why is because of how strong the low-level jet will be. When we have strong low-level winds, it helps to be able to rotate supercells much easier and it helps to produce even strong tornadoes. And in this case today, the low-level jet across much of Tennessee and Kentucky, even around three or four o'clock this afternoon, will be upwards of 30 to 40 knots with it being a little bit stronger back over to the west back over in Missouri and Arkansas and this will definitely elevate that potential for tornadoes but once we go into this evening it even elevates even more and we are going to start to get a surge of damaging winds out of that line of storms as that moves to the east producing significant damaging winds from Illinois and Missouri back into Tennessee and Kentucky on the flip side of things we're still gonna have a strong southwesterly flow out in front of this which means that tornadoes could even be embedded in that line of storms and even any of those discrete or semi-discrete supercells could also use that environment in Kentucky and Tennessee and produce the same sort of threat. So it's going to be a significant threat tonight. And then that surge of damaging wind will potential will go across parts of Kentucky and Tennessee later tonight into the overnight hours, producing some significant and numerous, even potentially widespread damaging winds across those two states. Another thing that we can look at is the tornado parameter values. And this gives us an idea overall of what the chances of a tornado will be today in some of these areas with this particular environment. And it basically factors in shear, instability, and a bunch of other things that basically are ingredients for tornadoes. Now, throughout the afternoon and even the late morning, we are watching for more elevated tornado risk across parts of Kentucky and Tennessee out of those semi-discrete cells that'll continue to develop today. We're also gonna be watching for a train of storms, which means that a flooding concern is going to build across parts of Kentucky and Tennessee. Would not rule out some areas picking up over four to six inches of rain today. So be mindful of that in Kentucky. Kentucky and Tennessee. But another area that we're going to have to watch for this afternoon is southern Missouri and even back over into Arkansas, where more elevated tornado risk will begin to evolve as we go throughout the afternoon and eventually into the evening, where the peak of the tornado risk today will probably be between approximately six to nine o'clock or so. And then once we go late into the evening, that tornado risk dies down, but it will still exist in southern Tennessee overnight tonight and maybe a very low risk all the way back into parts of Arkansas and maybe a small risk in northern Georgia before that eventually starts to wind down and is a low threat as we go into tossing trampolines on tall trees Thursday. Now let's talk more about the timing for severe weather and we will begin with what's happening right about now which we do have some showers and thunderstorms out there once again a couple of storms out there producing some severe weather an isolated tornado risk will try to develop later this morning with those storms but overall it should mostly be just a damaging wind risk I don't expect too many tornadoes to really get going this morning but once we get closer to the afternoon afternoon hours we're watching a few different areas there will be some storms back over North Carolina that produce a little bit of hail wind and maybe an isolated tornado the activity in Kentucky and Tennessee will continue throughout the afternoon unfortunately this is just going to be a train of showers and storms that's just going to continue to dump rainfall in the same areas for hours on end so a flooding concern is definitely one of the top priorities for today you need to make sure that you're ready for any sort of flash flooding events in Kentucky or Tennessee once we go later into the afternoon right around about five o'clock or so storms will explode across parts of central and southern Missouri near the St. Louis area and back over into southwest Missouri where the tornado risk, the wind risk, and the hail risk will all start to ramp up as we go around the afternoon hours. There will be some storms in Indiana and maybe southwest Ohio, but they shouldn't be super significant. Maybe an isolated brief tornado or some hail or wind. By the time we get closer to seven, that line of storms really begins to organize all the way from Texas back into Missouri. And then by the time we get closer to eight to nine o'clock, 
They continue to plow to the east, producing damaging winds, hail, and even some embedded tornadoes across parts of Illinois, Missouri, and Arkansas. A bit more broken, most likely, across Arkansas, but it'll be a pretty solid line of storms anywhere from southern Missouri back into southern Illinois, and perhaps a few tornadoes across parts of Tennessee later today. That would be out of any discrete cells, primarily during the evening hours, but maybe a couple during the late afternoon hours. And then by the time we get closer to midnight, that cluster moves to the east, and that line of storms starts to break up and disorganize a little bit, but it will still be producing damaging winds and maybe even a few tornadoes. And then by the time we get closer to around 1, 2 in the morning, continues to push south and east, and by the time we go into Thursday morning, severe weather threat will start to die down with some isolated wind, maybe a little bit of hail, and maybe a brief tornado. And then across parts of Texas for Thursday, we are going to be talking about some massive hailstorms that will develop right during the mid to late afternoon hours, between about 3 and 8 o'clock or so. Really significant hail is the main concern, but there could even be a couple of tornadoes. We'll be talking about more on this in tomorrow's forecast, so make sure that you stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.